All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with fear, his praise forth tell. Come ye before him and rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So today is Saturday, and uh, usually Saturday is really devoted to our Mary. So today I'm going to offer this Mass for Our Lady of the Cenacle. You know, uh, Mary was with the apostles uh, in the upper room uh, before when, when they received the, the the, the Holy Spirit and Pentecost. So I'm gonna so pay attention. It's beautiful. The 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 prayers, the preface uh, of this mass uh, devoted to our Lady. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. And what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may mighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christe eleison Christe eleison Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Let us pray Lord our God as the blessed virgin was at prayer with the apostles, you poured out on her in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Grant through her intercession that we too, being filled with the same Spirit, may persevere with one mind in prayer and bring to the world around us the good news of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Antioch, taking with him Silas, and went on to Derbe and to Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the believers in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, And he took him and had him circumcised because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went from town to town, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them so. So passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia, pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The refrain to the psalm. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. 
Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, Seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, Jesus said to the disciples, If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own, because you do not belong to the world. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, Servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in our first reading today, we see how Paul and Barnabas, although uh, Paul and Silas, you know, they've been been preaching the good news to, to the people there. And yet we see here how the Holy Spirit was leading them. Uh, The Holy Spirit, it says here, uh, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. So they were planning to go there. The Holy Spirit said, no, can't go. And uh, also they attended to go into Bithynia. But again, the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. Okay. So here he says here in the first reading, during the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the the vision, We immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. And we see here how Paul and Silas, they were very sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And because of that, their evangelization efforts, we could see how it was bearing fruit. It says there that uh, the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. So, and, and that's what we need to do. Okay? Uh, we've been talking about our call to holiness and to mission. And it's not based on ordination, but based on baptism. And we need the Holy Spirit in order to do that. So the Holy Spirit is not just for the Pentecostal that started in the early 1900s. 
It's not only for the charismatic that started in 1967. This started in after Jesus died. When they were filled by the Holy Spirit during Pentecost. So the question is, you know, are, are, we, are we sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit in our life? And we receive the Holy Spirit in baptism, in confirmation. But I'm afraid that the Holy Spirit is very dormant. It needs to be activated in our life. You know, and, and that's why we need to ask for the, for, the, for the infilling of the Holy Spirit every day. Okay? We're, we're not going to do like another baptism or another confirmation. You know? But every day we could ask for the Holy Spirit. So I would like to suggest three things for us to be filled by the Holy Spirit every day so that the Holy Spirit will lead us as we evangelize people. Because the Holy Spirit will be there to, to tell us where to go, whom do, we, whom do we share the gospel, okay? what to say, how to say it. And the Holy Spirit also will prepare the person or the people that we will be sharing the gospel with to predispose of their heart in order to receive that word and to respond that word. That's the action of the Holy Spirit. It's, it's, it's not our action. All, our, all we could do is share the gospel. But it's the Holy Spirit acting in them. That's why we need to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. If we're not following the leading of the Holy Spirit, our evangelization efforts will not bear fruit. So three things that I would like to uh, uh, encourage everyone to do. First is have a strong devotion to Mary. The Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. She is also called Mrs. Holy Spirit. So if, if Mary is very present in our life, the Holy Spirit is also very present in our life. Okay? And, and uh, uh, as I've said, in the upper room, Mary was there with the apostles. Not because Mary you know, needed to be filled by the Holy Spirit. She was already filled by the Holy Spirit during Annunciation. She was there in the upper room interceding that the apostles will receive the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. And we talk about uh, how to grow in, in our devotion to Mary by having a devotion to the Immaculate Heart and asking Mary, as, as, as we have that devotion, to lend us her heart by growing in humility, purity, and charity. And also to keep us in her heart. You know? so, so, so that we will be filled by, by, by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's the first one. Have a strong devotion to Mary. The second is just ask. Ask for the Holy Spirit and the Father will give, will give it to us. In Luke chapter 11, verse 13, it says there, How much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So just ask. Okay, we, you don't need to beg. Just ask. Father, give me the Holy Spirit. Give me the Holy Spirit. And you could do novenas to the Holy Spirit, um, especially this coming Pentecost. Do a nine-day novena before Pentecost. Or you could just do a, a, a simple prayer by, uh, a, a prayer to the Holy Spirit by Cardinal Mar Messier. I, I've been praying that prayer. Wonderful prayer. So, uh, look into that in the internet. Say that prayer every day. Okay? So th the first one is devotion to Mary. The, sec the second one is just ask. Ask for it. The third one is obedience. If you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you need to be obedient to the Father and also to the Son. Okay? In, uh, in, in Acts chapter 5, verse 32, it says here, so, the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those that obey Him. Obedience. If you're not obeying the will of the Lord, you will not be filled by the Holy Spirit. Okay? But as you obey, you will be filled by the Holy Spirit. You, you will get a sixth sense, a sensing of what the Holy Spirit is telling you and asking you to do. And if you do that, I guarantee you, whatever you're doing, it will bear fruit. It will bear fruit. So, you know, uh, that's why, you know, uh, 
that's why today I, I, I offer this Mass for, for Our Lady of the Cenacle. Let's ask for her intercession. Okay? And, and there's a very beautiful prayer that we pray to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means by the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. We joyously praise the Lord who raised his son from death and so assured us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help in times of trial. That our pastors, especially the Pope and our bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel his sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find joy in our faith, even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for, for the special intentions of this Mass for Michelle Barrett, offered by Liz Going. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night. Waking and sleeping, thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom, be thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, and I thy true Son. Thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. High King of heaven, my victory won, may I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. All Holy Father, receive these gifts from joyful hearts and grant that we may closely, clo follow closely the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary by obeying the voice of the Spirit and seeking to praise your glory in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, how wonderful is the example you have given us 
of harmony and prayer in the church at its beginning, you show us the mother of Jesus as she prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She who waited in prayer for the coming of Christ is still at prayer as she calls upon the promised paraclete, who, she who was overshadowed by the Spirit at the incarnation of the Word, is once more filled with your gift from on high at the birth of God's new people. As she keeps vigil in prayer, her heart on fire with love, she is the model of the church, enriched by the gifts of the Spirit, and keeping watch for the second coming of Christ. Through Him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come to me. But speak the words of comfort, my spirit healed shall be. O Jesus, we adore thee, our victim and our priest whose precious blood and body become a sacred feast. O come all you who labor in sorrow and in pain. Come eat this bread of heaven, thy peace and strength regain. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.
Let us pray. Lord God, you have fed your holy people with the one bread of life. Renew us by the one gift of the Holy Spirit and grant that under the protection of the Blessed Virgin, we may work for the unity and peace of all those for whom your Son offered himself as a sacrifice of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And that our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Qui aque meru isti portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicud dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.